Okay. Okay, what is up everybody? This is a broken twitch coming at you guys again with more fake grand order. Um hello everybody, I hope everyone's doing well today. Yep, yep, hope everyone's doing well today. So we so one event ends and we're being put and we're being thrust right into another event. This is the Valentine's Day event that we are about to jump into and i said and then i said in a tweet earlier that i was going to um i did say in the tweet earlier that i was going to um do a banner roll but earlier today <laughs> earlier today i had actually managed to roll, say Shogunan, Shonagon. I'm sorry. Say, say, say Shonagon earlier today off the first banner roll of the banner. So yeah, yeah, we got her a little bit early though. But that actually, but that right there actually does me a solid because that means that I can now save up courts for Thursday, and I can possibly do a roll live on stream for you guys and uh hold on a second give me a second i need to edit the title here the title is messed up there we go saved now we can go back okay so we're gonna hop into this though we're gonna get this started and we form our party immediately before the battle begins okay fair enough say less all right let's do this Let's hop into this. Happy Valentine's. It's February, everybody. Section one. Heart heart throbbing things. <laughs> yeah, but as soon as the Amazon CEO event ended, that ended last night at 10 p.m. And now we're just being thrown right into another event. But anyway, Tur Master. Oh, oh guys, making me yawn. <sighs> Please wake up, Master. I'm afraid we have a problem. Master? Just five more minutes, Mash. Huh? Lady Mash? I'm I'm afraid you're mistaken, Master. I'm not Lady Mash. Does this mean you two are um involved after all? I don't suppose you could tell me any more about Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Pause. Pause. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, what am I saying? This isn't the time for that. Please wake up, Master. I need your help. Wait, what the fuck? This is my room? What the hell? Where are we? Oh, no. Murasaki, what have you done now? Oh, no. Murasaki, what have you done now? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm afraid I don't know... <laughs> Any more than you. Oh my goodness, though. Murasaki, what have you done? Murasaki. You all would then that's like, Murasaki, you was in last year's Valentine's Day event and 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 it got to the point and then it got to the point where where books attacked us. Now you're back again this year and now you're involved in something else. What did you do? You're supposed to be the librarian. You're supposed to be the librarian. You're not supposed to be getting involved in in these type of in these type of shenanigans. Alright, what have you done this time? 
Still, I'm relieved to see you finally up and about. As far as I can tell, we're somewhere outside Caldea, and it seems you and I are the only ones here. What? Did we race shift at some point and I simply wasn't aware? I think I know what's going on. So you know what's going on here? I'm glad you seem so accustomed but to this sort of thing. Well, yeah, of course. Aha, I see. So we're inside a dream you're having. And for some reason, as yet unclear to both of us, I ended up coming along with you. What about before I woke up? Do you remember anything? Before you woke up? Let me see. Hmm. Hmm. The last thing I remember was after dinner last night. Paracelsius, Circe, Semiramis, Selpius, Lord Paracelsius, Lord Paracelsius, Lady Circe, Lady Semiramis, and Lord Aclopius, as es Aclopius, were all walking together. They were talking about some sort of newly developed ultimate chocolate that they plan to use as their main Valentine's Day product this year. They asked me to bring a sample to your room so you could try it for yourself. Okay, first of all, first of all, you're talking about somebody who is, who, okay, so you're talking about two people who are experts. Well, then, well, then you're talking about one person who is an expert at potentially curing all illnesses because he's the god of medicine. You're talking about another person who basically makes potions for a living. You're talking about another person, though, who can who can basically turn you into a pig at a snap of a finger that's not named BB. And you're also talking about somebody who basically puts poison in her chocolate. So this is already a bad scenario. This is already bad. This is already really bad. This is already a really bad scenario. Anyways, Murasaki, continue. I was planning to leave shortly after giving you the chocolate, but instead I ended up sharing half of it at your request. Okay. Well, that solves the mystery. I already know what the fuck happened, though. We got roofied. That's exactly what happened, though. Simi Ramis, Simi Ramis, and Paracelsius. No, 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 no. Yeah, I figured it out, everybody, already. Already, though. I already know what happened. Simi Ramis was the one who had made the chocolate. She didn't. Then Paracelsius strolled in there, decided to add his own little mix of stuff, and then Cersei came in and was basically like, here's something extra special specifically for Master. And then Aclepius, Asclepius showed up and he was basically like, if you guys kill Master, don't worry, I will revive him. So all four of the, so all four of them are in fucking cahoots though about this whole damn situation. Anyway, what? <laughs> That's all you needed to figure out what has happened? Of course. Of course. I see. So it was the chocolate. You think it must have contained elixirs from all four respective places and areas of origin. Yep, there we go. Called it. Problem solved. Problem solved. Already been solved, people. Already been solved. We solved the we solved the mystery, everybody. We solved it. And this is why you've been so concerned by the four of them spending time together lately. I see. Uh yes. Uh y y yes. Yeah, 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 yes, of course, of course, you know, you, 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 you know, you, you, you know, we, 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 you, you know, we, 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 you know, you know, you know, it's clearly obvious. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, I'm so sorry. I know that chocolate was so dangerous. Uh oh. Give me a second, guys. My thing's acting up. Give me one second. Let me. Okay, there we go. Much better. Ah, I'm so sorry. I had no idea that chocolate was was so dangerous. Is that your fault, Morisaki? Uh, 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 you couldn't have known, Master. Thank you so much. 
I promise I'll make it up to you after we have resolved our present predicament. In the meantime, regardless of how we ended up here, we should try to look for a way to get back home as soon as possible. To begin, why don't we head towards that town over there? Maybe we can learn something of value about where we are. Whoa, now, hold it right there, you two. You were just talking about chocolate, weren't you? Hey, I recognize that silhouette. It's obvious who it is. Huh? Who are you? Me and my boys here We've got a real sweet tooth, you see, so it was a stroke of luck running into you two like this. Now, why don't you just hand over the goods and we'll be on our way, yeah? And by goods, I mean chocolate, of course. <laughs> this is Teach. Oh, great, this again. Fucking Teach. You mean this sort of thing happens regularly in your dreams, Master? Huh? What do you mean, this again? Ain't never seen either of you before. Look, save the small talk for the small timers. We know what we're doing here. Just give us what we want, and we won't kill you. We heard you talking about chocolate, so just put it down nice and slow. And we won't have any trouble. <laughs> oh my god, man. I fucking love Teach. All right, <laughs> All right, Reese's head over the chocolate and no one gets hurt. <laughs> so put it down nice and slow. We won't have any trouble, though. Ain't that right, Reese's? Hand over all the chocolate and no one gets it. All right, Reese's, hand over the chocolate and the peanut butter gets it. Hee hee hee, it's chocolate time. I can't remember the last time. We had fresh chocolate. Master. I hate to tell you this, but we don't have any. Huh? You don't have any chocolate? So you're just a couple of outsiders then. Could have led with that instead of getting our hopes up. All right. Never mind then. Go on. Get out of here. <laughs> and be careful. It's dangerous around here. What the fuck? Watch out for monsters. Just follow that road there and it'll take you straight to town. It, it looks like they're putting their guns away. And that leader of this is obviously Lord Teach. Perhaps we can find out more about this place from him. Hmm? What's up? There's something you two need help with? Want to ask me for advice? I'm a better listener, but then I look. Don't worry, I'd be happy to assist. In particular, my lady, I couldn't help but notice your most impressive... God damn it. God damn it, Teach. Your most impressive chest... Oops, pardon me, but, uh, but let me rephrase that. I'm speaking, of course, of your dress and its incredibly intricate <laughs> embroidery. As a man of culture, I find it both intriguing and, magnif and magnificently easy on the eyes. <laughs> man, teach, you ain't fooling nobody, though. You ain't fooling nobody. Okay, I guess we can't talk for a little. Whatcha? Whatcha? <laughs> Cha? I mean, Chief? hey -ya! Next, I use my rebound from the flying kick to do a triple midair backflip. With a perfect 10 out of 10 landing. That was awesome! Man, oh man, that was a close call for you two, wasn't it? Good thing for you, I showed up to help. Wait, is it a good thing? Man, who cares? Ah -ha -ha -ha. Talk about making an entrance. <laughs> is that could it be hey I don't know who you are but were you really paying attention because if you had been you'd known we were all getting on pretty well hell my gentlemanly social skills are about to land me a new girlfriend in just a few seconds before you showed up teach you ain't fooling nobody god damn it back it up back it up with the moral hazards bah <laughs> Watch out! Watch out! Come on, bring it on! G what? <laughs> you good to go, Murasaki? Uh oh. Uh oh. I I I don't think Murasaki. She's ready to leave, though. Oh my God! Throw that look in her face. Just the just the the grimace of the grimace of evil. <laughs> She's just like, oh my god. She's just like, oh my god. Oh, oh crap. Let me do that. Crap. I meant to screenshot that. I'm going to send it to... Dang it! Okay. Oh my god, you phone. Stop. Anyway. Y yes, I'm fine. Don't worry, master. I, I promise 
I promise I'll put a stop to this squabble. Okay, let's fight then. Alright, it's time to fight. I oh, know we can only use one servant. Oh, wait. Oh, no, we can't. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, then we can use multiple servants. Okay, cool. We can use multiple servants. Alright, let's do this. Uh, but let me turn my brightness up on, on my phone because I can barely see shit. Yo, she just pulled out her phone and took a selfie? Oh my goodness, say. Oh my goodness. Yo, she really just pulled out her phone, though, and took a selfie. Oh, wow. And Teach actually lived. Holy cow. And he got guts. Crap. Yay, victory is mine. This overwhelming abundance of cheerfulness, but this rejuvenating party girl power, and above all, these weird movements that are making my head hurt in more ways than one. I can't believe it. I've always prided myself on being a gentleman and so able to endure common attacks. But there's something about those sparkly attacks that makes me feel like it would be wrong to dodge them. Gurk. Hey, PPF, what's up? Woohoo! I won! I think I'll step quick pick and to remember this by. Oh my goodness, though, man. Okay, so for anybody that's automatic... Okay, so for anybody who's watching this stream, if you're automatically thinking that Seishok... Um, if you're automatically thinking that she looks... <laughs> like... <laughs> she looks like a Nintendo Switch in human form, you would be absolutely correct. Because <laughs> that... Because believe it or not, the artist... Then that's up because believe it or not... The artist behind it was actually was actually using the Nintendo Switch as something of an inspiration for her. So, you know, just saying, you know, just just feel free to, you know, there you go. Hmm? Um, who are you? Yeah, me? I'm nobody important, but if you insist on calling me something, how about mysterious pretty sailor girl? No way. Calling myself pretty is kind of extra, isn't it? She's obviously trying to come up with something on the... 
but don't interrupt her, uh, Murasaki. <laughs> there, I've got it. I am none other. I am none other than the shining Sei Shonagun. <laughs> You're obviously Sei Shogunan, daughter of Bakiohara no Motosuke, one of the Nachisubo, the fine, the five men of the pearl of the pear chamber, right? <laughs> so, for the people that don't know anything about their history, Murasaki Shikabu and say Shonagon actually had a bit of a rivalry back in the day because because they were both writers. So, I'll let you um. Then it's like, I'll let you guys um, do the rest of the research yourselves. I am back to 100%, by the way, free from COVID. Congrats, man. I'm glad to hear that. Glad to hear that, though, man. Because we were starting to get worried, bro. We were really starting to get worried, man. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, Who? Me? I saw you avert your gaze. Don't think I didn't. As in the say Shonagon? No, really, I have no idea who you're talking about. Nope, no clue at all. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, don't lie to the library, lady. She has the power of books. She'll throw one at you. Hard. Don't lie to her. Master, do you know who Say Shonagun is? Not very well. Say Shonagun is an author from Japan's Heian period, much like myself. Of course, we had quite different tastes in genres. My focus was on narrative, while she preferred essays. Yeah, I'm back and ready for MLB 22. And how about you? Oh, man. Oh, man. I, 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 honestly, the games that I'm getting, I'm taking it one step at a time. Because I, I, mean, I know that now that it's February, I've got four games on my list. I'm getting Sifu, which, which for me comes out this coming Sunday, I have Horizon Forbidden West, which comes out on the 18th. I also have Elden Ring, which comes out on the 25th. And I also have Grid Legends, which is also coming out that day as well. Oh, and also King of Fighters. So technically that's five games. I got five games. I may not get Grid Legends, but Sifu, Horizon, Elden Ring, and King of Fighters... 15 are on my list for my are, are on my list for this month alone and then come March and Then come March. It's 2k and uh, MLB. So yeah anyway But yeah, there it is my list But she was still the only other woman besides me who managed to hold her own in the harsh world of the old Imperial Court a world quite thoroughly dominated by men What's more, she trounced every single opponent who challenged her to a lyrical Heon MC battle. So I know she was very skilled. Hmm? Oh, also guys, oh yeah, also guys, I also guys, um, I do plan on buying a gaming chair in the future. Once I um once I uh I file my taxes and stuff, um I'm still I'm I'm still waiting for one more one more piece of um one more piece of information. What is Elden Ring? Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? Okay, you know what? I kind of want to pause this for a second just to show. Oh, as a matter of fact, what I'll do is this. Instead of me pausing the stream, I'll drop a link. I'll drop a link. Let's see. What was the latest trailer? I think it was this one. Yeah, it was this one. So here's what I'm going to do. I am actually going to drop this link for you, PPF. Do me a favor. Go watch that and come back. Just, 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 just. Go watch that video real quick. It's only four minutes long. It's only four minutes long. Go watch it. Come back. Hmm? Kind of getting the vibe that I'm getting a backhanded compliment. Of course, of course, Say Shogunan 
Of course, say Shonagon is best known for the pillow book. Have you ever read it, Master? It's said to be the first collection of essays ever written in Japan. And it details her singular thoughts and feelings on daily life in the palace court using a wide variety of colorful pros. And what is pros? I've heard that word before. Pros. 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 Written or a spoken language in its ordinary form without metrical structure. Another term for sequence. Okay. At the time, the first passage from her essay in Spring to Dawn was so shocking that... Okay, that's enough for now, please. Murasaki, we're going to be here all day. Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, but, but there I go, beginning carried away again I take it you're a huge fan of hers no I'm not <laughs> she's, she's like no I'm not a GTR racing just over a hundred what well you know what PPF I have been looking if you can find me a link to that chair and send it to me I'll look at it I'll actually look at it I, I, I do think her work has historical value, but that doesn't mean I care for it. Oh, Murasaki, you don't got to lie. Wait, what'd she say? Sorry. Uh, but not to mention that there are many passages where her attempts to show off her knowledge only demonstrate how little she truly understands. I can't tell you how many headaches I got from trying to make sense of all of her anecdotes where she was clearly just bragging about how great her life was. In modern parlance, the phrase that best describes my true opinion of her work would be, Oh no, she didn't. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, she didn't. You don't say. She's usually much more reserved than this, I promise. Ah, ha, ha. Hey, I don't got a problem with it. Hell, I appreciate that kind of candor. I'll take that over talking about me behind my back any day of the week. Huh? Uh um. You mean you're not upset? I thought for sure you were going to say something like, Where the hell do you get off? <laughs> where do you get. Where the hell do you get off talking about me like that bookworm nerd I've never met before? <laughs> oh my. Oh my. We're. So Murasaki is breaking character in all in every single way because she's because she's normally a down-to-earth apologetic library lady who just loves books you are say shonagun right well you know i may or may not have been called that at one point or another yeah see i'm retired now i decided i wasn't gonna be say shonagun anymore huh so I don't have any plans to write anything new anytime soon, if ever. Say what? I'm a new party girl now, full of possibilities, and I'm looking for, for some new hobby to catch my eye. So just call me Nagako and don't sweat the rest. Something tells me it's not a coincidence that we ran into each other out here like this. So now that we have, we may, we may as well make the most of it. What? 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 What in the world are you talking about? Um, sorry to interrupt your little chat, but would you mind hearing me out? Midnight Fever! We got another one. That's going to help us get more pinwheels and increase our MP strength. So yeah, let's go. All right. So before I do anything else, let me go to my formation real quick. With my party set up. All right, so let me go to the event bonus stuff. Yeah, we're getting there. So I'm going to give one, two, three, and four. Okay. And also, I'm going to give, going to give her some carrots. Anyway. Okay. Cool. All right. All right. Let's continue. You will form your party immediately after the battle begins. Merce like a Shikibu and a five slain queens. Section two. Wretched things. 
By the way, this event is date locked. The main quests are all date locked. A servant, as in with a capital S? What's that? Uh, I know my memories are all kind of fuzzy. And I have no idea why I'm here in this foreign country I've never seen before. But it's not like any of that slowing me down, so who cares? Wahaha! She's certainly, um, free-spirited, isn't she? It's not that, Master. She just isn't thinking about anything. Oh, so she's an airhead. Okay. Oh, she's an airhead. Uh, what about your... Maybe your ties on commentary fest could help us out? I'm afraid not, Master. I've tried to use it numerous times, but it seems like it just doesn't work in this world. Maybe the fact that it's a dream world has something to do with it. I see. Oh, well, if you can't use it, no, you can't use it. I swear, all those times it showed up just when I didn't want it to, and now that we could use it, it's nowhere to be seen. <sighs> I really do need to train more. <laughs> oh, poor Morisaki. Poor Morisaki. Bob. Hey, hey! So what should I call you to? You know a lot about me from when I was still writing S.A. Shonagun. Have we met before or something? This is Mura. My name is Kyle Ruko. I'm just an ordinary college student who loves to read. Oh my goodness. What the heck? What is going on? I only knew about you because I happen to have read the pillow book once. I, I, I've never actually met you before. Isn't that right, Master? Uh, yeah. Right. Is that so? Uh, oh. Karakura, Karakura. I've got it. I'm going to call you Karuchi. Karuchi? And you, Master, are going to be Chanmas. What? What the fuck is Chanmas? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, bro. She is. What the? F anyway. Oh, my. Wow. She's really is in her head. Oh, my goodness. Chan Moss. Chan Moss? What the? Anyway. Karuchi. Karuchi. So I'm. Karuchi, huh? Okay, you two. We're here. Welcome to our hideout. Oh, I guess you can come along too if you want, high school girl. Just make sure you stand in the corner quietly and don't try any funny business, alright? And just make sure you stand in the color corner quietly and, and don't try any funny business, alright? Why are you being so mean to me? What I ever do to you? You mean besides the jump kick to the face? Just be glad we're not tying you up and throwing you in the back of the rest of the dangerous animals. <laughs> what is this place? Just a little bar we started hanging out in after the owner ran away and, and abandoned it. I can't serve alcohol to minors, of course, but otherwise, feel free to make yourselves at home. Ooh, dibs on the sofa. Hey, Beardy. Hey, Beardy. Can I get a nice cold soda over here? For one thing, you're getting way too comfortable. For another, don't call me Beardy. Oh, come to think of it, I never did introduce myself, did I? Right, ahem. Nice to meet you, you two. You can call me Higikuro. Higikuro as in Beard Black. Higikuro. Some people around here think I'm some kind of delinquent middle-aged man, but we've agreed to disagree about that. Me and my colleagues here have taken it upon ourselves to do battle with real bad guys. We're basically the chosen warriors, the last guardians, if you will. So, you're not pirates? Huh? Pirates? What are you on about? Who's heard of pirates lubing it up on land? Nobody, that's who. I guess this Lord Teach really is a different person from the Lord Teach of Chaldea. So what about you two? What's your story? Thanks to our scuffle, I can't tell i could tell i could i could tell you know your way around the fight well hmm so you came here from another world did you we're talking getting spirited away easy kind using your modern day knowledge to give your ordinary ass all sorts of advantages in this new world that sort of thing popular in your world lately or something not lately it's been around since ancient rome Really? Humanity is something else, eh? 
Can't believe we've been fighting culture wars for that long. Anyway, don't worry. I'm familiar with these kind of stories. It's just like a summer fling only with adventure instead of romance, right? So if we take you at your word, then I guess that means you aren't working with them. Hey, Beardy. Beardy. Beardy! Huh? Weren't you listening to me? But didn't you hear me introducing myself? Who is this? Who is this them you last guardians, LOL, are fighting? Do they have anything to do with why you brought us here? That's right. Uh, but now that I've seen how strong you guys are, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask for your help. Tell us more. First off, this city is divided into five districts. Each district is run by an administrator, and let me tell you, these admins are all real pieces of work. They all run around doing whatever the hell they please, like they own the place, not just run it. The worst part is they don't even see us as human. If they did, they'd never be capable of such cruelty. Oh my, that sounds terrible. What did they do, Lord? Yeah, Kuru. Ah, Karuchi, you're like an angel come down from the heavens. They came up with a seriously messed up custom is what. And we can't rid it and we can't get rid of it on our own, which is why we need your help. Our goal is to rid the world of the most twisted holiday ever. Valentine's Day! What? Well, I will admit, though, you know, what? Well, well, oh. Anyway, moving on. I was about to say something, never mind. Oh, yeah, I know why that is. I don't know why I know, but I know I know. You know? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Say Shogun. Say Shonagon. Oh, my goodness. Valentine's Day is a holiday where girls take chocolate and. Hmm. Uh, throw it in the face of the guy they like to challenge them to a duel. Yeah. <laughs> and since it's all dishonorable to refuse one of these duels, the guy's got to choose to either kill their opponent or love them for... E stop. Just stop. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You're right. <laughs> really reaching for a laugh there. Besides, we already know what Valentine's Day is. That has nothing to do with why we were speechless. Yeah, I only wish things were that easy. Nope, Valentine's Day here involved. Uh-oh, what's going on? Huh? Anyone else hearing that commotion outside? It sounds like some sort of argument. What would you like to do, Master? Hey, let's go check it out. Let's see what's going on. Wait, Valentine's is still a ways away, right? I promise I'll find some chocolate before the 14th. Please, I just need a little more time. Ha ha! Hey, but do you really expect us but to believe that? You had a whole year to prepare for this day. If you couldn't attract anyone by now, you never will. Exactly, losers. The only thing guys like you are good for is doing whatever guys like us tell them to. The fuck? What's with those guys? They're being real jerk faces. Those guys are the lonely heart police. The lonely what now? They track down poor saps who don't get any chocolate and punish them. As far as guys like us are concerned, they're basically grim reapers. I, um, oh goodness, I don't even know what to ask about first. But for the moment, what does this punishment involve? In this city, it's a crime to be unpopular and single. If you can't attract a girl, no chocolates for you. And any guy who fails to get himself some chocolate by February 14th is sentenced to being a lonely heart. A third class citizen who has to pay heavy taxes, undertake forced backbreaking labor, and is subject to all kinds of restrictions on their livelihoods. And they have to live through that hell for at least a year. Is there no love in this world anymore? <laughs> Oof, they got me right in the feels. I'm so glad you understand. If I didn't know better, I swear you and I've known each other for years. Uh, but I digress. Rumor even has it that every year, some poor staffs are taken to Central District where they're never seen again. That's just what life is like here in this city. And now you know the truth about Valentine's Day. Gotcha. Well then, I'm going to go greet them with a dynamic entry. Flying kick to the face. But wait! 
Just because we now know what's going on in this city doesn't mean we should just rush in. It could be dangerous. Honestly, I can't allow oppression like this. Hey, not, hey, not, hey, that's what I'm talking about. I knew you and I were birds of a feather. There's something that there's just something about arrogant, holier than thou types that really makes you want to throw hands. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, Mursak is getting mad. All right, I understand. We certainly can't stand back and do nothing when we see someone in trouble. If this is what you've decided, Master, but then I'll be with you every step of the way. So we can take, say, Shogunan with us. But, but I have my own. But I have my own, so I'm going to use my own. These guys are weak. These guys are weak, Sauce. Get out of here. You guys are weak. Nintendo gals a thug. Oh yeah, of course. Of course she is. Of course she's a thug. Flash! And then it's obvious to everyone her favorite video game is FIFA! Anyway. Man, she love herself some FIFA. Wait, what? She took a selfie with the enemy and I did damage. Yo, what type of what type of phone you got? Yo, I love these animations, by the way. I love her animations, though. Her animations are amazing. And then the thing that even makes this even better, though, she is a support archer. She's a support archer as well. Yep, she is a support archer, everybody, which is going to be, which is actually interesting. Anyway, moving on. Section two, wretched things. Higikuru, you didn't have to stick your neck out just for me. Don't worry about it. We're comrades in arms, right? There's not much time left till Valentine's Day, but so we've all got to stay on the chocolate prowl. Higikuru. If there's a girl you got your eye on, just keep lavishing her with attention to you. Creep her the hell out. Do that and you can't fail. Um, yes, you can. It's called you going to jail. Or even worse, or even worse, you getting, you getting, um, I'm gonna kicked in the balls. Cause you're a creep. Don't do that, people. Don't do that. No, don't do that. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'll give it a shot. I think I figured out why these guys uh, but don't have any luck. Also, what's a chocolate prowl anyway? Phew, thank goodness we managed to save that poor man. Though, if what you said is true, Lord Higekuru, it would seem that is a common occurrence here. Yeah, it is. All I want to do is help those poor lonely hearts out. That's why me and my boys have been going around stealing chocolate from normies with plenty to spare. It's sneaking it over to the lonely hearts. But that's just putting a band-aid on a bullet wound, so to speak. We need to take that Valentine's Day for good or late-blooming gents like us will never have a shot at a happy ending. So I, I doubt you can turn back at this point. Let me ask you again anyway. Will you help us? 
Master, I don't have any evidence I can point to in order to support this hypothesis. But my intuition is telling me that for this city to have reached this point, there must be something here that's responsible for twisting the world in this way. You mean like a holy grail? Yes, I think so. So if we can find the holy grail's owner and take the grail into our own custody, we should be able to escape from this dream world? Lord Higekuru, we would be glad to help you free this city from the clutches of this Valentine tyranny. Yeah, I'm thrilled to hear that. Of course, I knew that anyone with eyes as clear as pure as you two would have to be good people. Not to mention, you're actually bothered to hear what we had to say even when we only just met. met. <laughs> Whoops, sorry about that. No tears of joy for me until we won this battle for good. All right, then, from now on, we'll all work together to kick those smarmy jerks out of our city. Here, not so fast. I just came up with a brilliant idea that'll solve all our problems. Want to hear? Nope, not interested. Why not? Because whatever it is, I can already tell it's going to be anything but brilliant. Now, now, let's give her a chance. He 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 he. Glad to see someone here gets it, Sean Moss. I give you, I give you extra affinity points for that. Gag. All right, Beardy, hear me out. Stop calling me Beardy already. I'll admit the city's way of celebrating Valentine's Day is seriously jacked. But what if we were able to take advantage of that? I see. And how will we go about this? According to this city's rules, it doesn't matter who you get chocolate from as long as you get it from someone. Which means all we have to do is make a bunch of chocolate and hand it out to all the lonely hearts ourselves. What? You're also blown away by my genius idea that you're at a loss of words or something? That's right. Once everyone's got chocolate of their own, they all get to live ultra happily ever after. And that's before you get into the bonus happiness of getting it from a beautiful babe like myself. It's perfect. Completely foolproof. This way, anyone and everyone can be happy. Anyway, that being said, how come you're all face palming like there's no tomorrow? Because it's dumb. <laughs> oh my goodness. I knew you I I knew you weren't the sharpest tool in the shed, but I didn't think you couldn't even do basic hey. You're calling me stupid or something? Handing out chocolate of our own is all well and good in theory. <clears throat> but where are we supposed to get that much chocolate in the first place? Oh yeah. That is not a helpful answer. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Is there any way we can get some? Frankly, no. Chocolate is an extremely precious resource for guys like us. The only ones in this entire city who can get their hands in it are, are the women who live here. Ugh, what a waste of time that idea turned out to be. I knew we should. I knew we should have never listened to her. Hmm. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Why is Murasaki breaking? Yo, she's breaking character. She... <laughs> She got, she got beef, bruh. Murasaki got beef with Shauna Khan. I've never seen you like this before, Kar Karuko. Putting aside how happy it may or may not make everyone, that idea is useless without actual chocolate. And seeing how chocolate neither grows on trees nor rains down from the sky, where are we supposed to get that much? Boss, sorry to interrupt you, boss, but it's an emergency. We've got a golem. Yeah. Oh shit. Keep your voices down, damn it. What's the big idea? You're all seen you've all seen golems before, right? Just gang up on the shimmy a problem. You, you, you don't understand, boss. This this ain't a normal golem. It's way bigger and stronger, and it's got a color I ain't never seen before. So we thought maybe just maybe it's the legendary Chocolate Golem. Chocolate? Um, I suppose I should ask what sort of creature it is we're talking about. The chocolate golem is a legendary golem that's said to only appear once every few hundred years. I never thought <laughs> I'd get the chance to see one for myself. True, if we can find a way to defeat it, that ought to give us plenty of chocolate to work with. But if the rest of the legend is also true, that would mean it's a powerful demonic chocolate. 
Damn it. If we only had a way to combat it. All right. I see how it is. Looks like this is my time to shine then. Nope. Nope. It's Carl Rucos. I, um, I suppose I better get going then. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Damn, that thing's got a lot of help, too. She could take. She could take three hits. See, Shona. See, Shona God could take three hits. I almost. I almost had Bradamante to bond level five, and then that way, and then that way, I can unlock her interlude, which I'll probably do after this because because I think after this it locks until tomorrow because they only give you the first two main quests, and then it gets locked because um, the entire event, the main quest, are all date locked. Whoa, I didn't even know you could have this much chocolate in one place. Yes, well, with a name like Chocolate Gollum, I would honestly have been more shocked if it dropped anything that wasn't chocolate. Hot damn, Karuchi. I can't believe how easily you took down a demonic creature. Thank goodness I'm not demonic myself. Then again, seeing how opposites attract and all, maybe we end up happily ever after if I was demonic. You'd probably end up as Ash, assuming there was anything left at all. Whoops, I was so overcome by her beauty that I almost forgot myself. Anyway, now that we've got all this chocolate, we should be able to hand it out to every guy in town. And when Valentine's Day comes and goes without any third-class citizens, it ought to bring down the admin's reign once and for all. Hey, but does that mean we're doing this? Yeah, it does. We're going along with your stupid plan after all. All right, now that that's settled, let's all pitch in to make enough chocolate for everyone. We're all, we're all in... We're all in on the hijinks now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised they're hitting it off so well. I'm sorry. Um, I don't really feel comfortable in that sort of atmosphere. Does it have something to do with her? In her case, I think she was probably meant to be summoned as a caster. But since she was summoned as a class that doesn't suit her, that might be why she's so um, free-spirited. So she was supposed to be a her summer heroic spirit read party girl? N not necessarily. That's only a guess on my part. Uh, but nothing certain. Murasaki? Master, I... Before I served Lady Shoshi, the Empress, I used to serve Lady Rinshi. It was during that time that I first saw Sei Shonagun back in the palace. But she, well... I don't think she so much 
has looked my way. Not that I can blame her, for I had yet to write anything of note at that time. I see. Her world was so entirely different from mine. She was so strong and seemed to sparkle with energy. She was also proud to a fault, a modest and so spiteful, it almost seemed to seep out of her pores. Um, Morisaki? But this say Shona Gun doesn't quite fit the image I always had of her. I can't say why that is, though perhaps it's due to her class. At any rate, Master, writers like Lord Anderson, Lord Shakespeare, and even myself, we write because it's the only way we know how to live. I especially don't see how anyone who owes their becoming a heroic spirit to their accomplishments as a writer could put their pen, could put down their pen so easily. So I can't help but wonder what could have caused her to. Hey, hey! Eek! <laughs> Hi, Nagiko. Beardy and his gang said they wanted to bring the Chocolate Mountain back to their hideout, so I came to get you two. What's up, Karuchi? Something on your mind? N no, it's nothing. Come, Master. Let's go help them. You heard the lady, Chan Moss. Did you just link arms with me? Oh, God. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. What, what are you doing? You're standing much too close to her. Oh, <laughs> uh, what's the matter, Karuchi? You jelly? Oh, my God. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Cat fight! Jury! Alright, don't worry. I won't leave you hanging. Why are you licking arms with me now? There. Now we can all go back together like the besties we are. That's what you meant by jelly? Because... I can assure you, that's not it at all. Hey, are you listening to me? Please stop pulling me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, we get a St. Quartz. And we get Frank Chocolate. We get three of them, cool. Alright, so. About Frank Chocolate. Frank Chocolate is a special chocolate gift you can send to a friend. The friend... You send it to receive a large amount of friend points, and you will also receive a reward. So, if you get a friend chocolate, you get mana presents. Choose a servant of the friend you must to send friend chocolate into request, and then select the option to use a friend chocolate. You can send friend chocolate to the same friend up to three times. There's a daily limit on total rewards you can receive when multiple people send you friend chocolate. Rewards over the limit will be carried over to the next day, and these friend chocolates will last between now and the 21st. Send friend chocolate to your friends to show your gratitude. All right. So, everybody. It's time to grind. It's time to grind. Let's do it. So, I can send friend chocolate to anybody here on my friends list. So, let's see. Who do I want to send friend chocolate to? Let's see. Um, let's send one to John. Let's send a friend chocolate right to John. All right, so oh, let me get a caster. Not you. I need all of them. Um, hmm. That's like cursory rhyme. Why not? Yes. LMAO, damn, I especially get even more now. I try to roll for this banner because people like get, keep getting good rolls. I try to roll, and I got Jack. I don't know what to tell you about that, bro. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I honestly don't know what to tell you about that, though. I, I, I do apologize. He still has, he still has cursory, wait, this is a level one cursory rhyme, oh my goodness, Sean, really dude, he said on a level, he said on a level one cursory rhyme, okay, why not user, why not user, come on cursory rhyme, I believe in you, level one cursory, let's go get a kill, let's go, level one cursory rhyme, level one cursory rhyme is meta,
Level one cursory rhyme is busted. Call it a nail. Really? That's what the noble phantasm is? He just spins around and then just... <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. OP, please nerf! OP, please nerf! <laughs> Level 1 country rhyme, everybody! Level... Level 1 country rhyme is busted! <laughs> Oh my god, God, what are you doing? She's a fuck! She's a fuck! Kill her! We can't! We can't! We're assassins! She's a caster! She's too overpowered! Sorry about that, guys, my phone going off. She's a fuck! We're getting our asses beat by a fuck! That does nothing. The power of the book! She got crit! Oh my goodness! What is this cheese? The book is winning! This is the main reason why. This is the main reason why, people. Instead of playing video games or looking at YouTube videos, Know what you need to do? You need to just, you need to just, I'm telling you right now, you need to go and go and grab yourself a good book, everybody. You gotta go and grab yourself a good book, though, because all this right before we know, right? This, this fight right here is a prime example to tell you that books are fundamental, everybody. Be sure to grab yourself a book. Read a good book. Go to the library, people! Read a book! Anyway. I gotta stay away from nursery rhyme. The book is winning! Book too strong! See, this is the thing about that tape on here, right, man, bruh. And victory is mine. Y'all look at the cards. Y'all look at the playing cards. The playing cards are just moving around and stuff too. The power of the books. Yo, just start throwing books at people, bruh. Just throw a book at somebody next time, everybody. Oh, no, I'm joking. No. Please don't do that, everybody. How about that's assault? Man of prisms, we get 10. All right, so. We can actually head to the event shop now. Uh, but clear event quest gets collect sparkle points and event items. Plus, equip the limited time craft Ephesus for drop bonuses, gather event items for valuable awards, and then you can give one of your servants a chocolate. So, In this event, you can exchange the prize chocolate or lock on chocolate for a Valentine's Craft Essence, even if you already hold the Valentine's Craft Essence in question. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Let's give a chocolate to somebody. Let's give a chocolate to... Hmm. Let's see. Matter of fact, you know... Matter of fact, you know... Matter of fact, you know here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give a chocolate to somebody. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can get chocolate, you can get chocolate. So, we're going to give a chocolate to somebody who I have not given a chocolate to in the past. So, for this one, oh wait, wait. oh no, I don't have any, I don't have any, that sucks, okay, what do you, okay, what do you, So here's what we're gonna do. Let's receive a chocolate from somebody. 
Let's receive a chakra somebody. Who is it? Who is it gonna be? Hey! It's a son of the hundred personas. A and the thing about it was last year's valentine's event was the event that they actually started voicing the valentine's day events so i don't have to read them to you Uh, but did the Da Vinci Workshop uh, just come out with this? Crunchy or nothing. Strawberry chocolate. Hmm. How much? I much rather prefer the same course, to be honest with you. <laughs> wow, wake up that dull brain of yours. Wow. Maybe it will. Thanks, Asan. Oh, yeah, seeing her blush. Yeah, she has like, yeah, she has like one of the cutest blushes in the entire game. Although there are a few servants though who who have much more cuter blushes, but extremely bad premonitions as of late, you see. She's talking about Gramps. She's talking. Then she, uh, she, uh, she's talking about talking about uh, King of San. But I already have this. Wait, wait. Oh yes, right. It's been sent to my present box. Okay, cool. All right, so so let's give a chocolate to somebody. None of your damn business. Say it ain't for you. All right, who's next? Hey, Benke. What's this say? Indomitable spirit? A subscription list. Wait, doesn't that make this incredibly valuable? <laughs> Which is why I autographed it. Thanks, Ben K. Hey, 
者のサインをもらった。もとい、サインをした甲斐がありました。Blank subscription list has been sent to your present box. I think I have both of these actually. Let's see. Anyway, all right, let's go back. All right, let's continue fighting. All right, all right. So a lot of people haven't haven't been rolling the banner yet, cause cause this is a very shall we say a a very um interesting interesting um yep. So send my friend chocolate. Marco Soshi, intermediate. If only Jedi was here. If only Jedi was here. OMG can invade. Dang, that did some damage off that Buster car. That did a lot of damage. What if I got ever throw a bed at him? Probably so. Probably so. All right, we're getting there, bit by bit, slowly but surely, we're getting there. Yeah, my man of prisons, I'm getting them back.
Knowledge is power. And the thing about it is though, if you have say Shogunan, if you have her for this event though, she actually, she actually, oh, she gains a boost. So, Well, look at that though. I got enough for three rolls now. I got enough for three rolls now. So we cleared them all. So right now there's nothing else that we can really do right now. There's absolutely nothing else that we can do right now though. We then it's like because the thing does not unlock until later tonight, but I've got two days to prepare myself because
Thursday. This is what we're aiming for right here. We're aiming for Katsukoto. We're aiming for Katsukoto on Thursday, everybody. I will be rolling on Thursday. Because I have been waiting now three years to get Katsukoto. I failed four times in the... No, no, not. That's like... Jen, that's like... I failed four times in the past, though. Two of those times were... No, no. Three of those times were Valentine's Day. Because I started playing in 2019. So... 2019 Valentine's Day, I couldn't get her. 2020 Valentine's Day, I couldn't get her. And 2021 Valentine's Day, I couldn't get her. And then, and then during the Samba Christmas event, that was that. That was the Christmas event for 2020. I also failed to get her. So, this is what we're aiming for right here. Her banner goes up first. It would have made more sense though to wait until, but you know. But yeah. And the thing about it is that sucks about it is this though. When it comes to Katsukato, she does not show up on any of these banners. Hey Taco, what's up? Alright, PPF. Well, you still have my luck. Well, well. Well, I hate to say this. Well, you know what, Brandon? We going to see. Well, you know what, Brandon? We truly going to see if I have your luck. Because this will be the fourth time I've tried to roll for her. No, 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 no. Sorry, the fifth. The fifth time she showed up on a banner. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing about cats. Here's the thing about cats. The only way you get cats normally is if you roll this banner right here, if you roll this story banner. And here's the thing, the further you get into it, the more difficult it gets. So you see, but so you see how far I am, look at this. I have I have a 0.031% chance to roll Katsukoto normally on the story banner. So, same with Queen Maeve. I may try to roll for Queen Maeve as well, I, I, I'm not sure, but yeah. This is going to be the chance come Thursday. Thursday is going to be the opportunity. I have enough for three rolls right now. I'm going to do some of my interludes and some of my strengthening quests to get more courts. So hopefully by tomorrow, so so hopefully by the time Thursday rolls around, um, I will be up. Um, honestly, I'll probably have enough courts to do maybe four rolls. To do maybe four. We'll see what happens. Anyway. Anyway, everybody. That is going to be it for today. I can't really do anything else right now. I know that. I know, but that this streamer here was kind of short. But yeah. Um, it is what it is, everybody. I will pick this back up. Tomorrow. I mean, well, probably not tomorrow. Wednesday. No, no, no. Sorry, Wednesday. Thursday. Thursday. Thursday, I will pick this back up. I am going to stream something else for you guys tomorrow because, because to be honest with you guys, it's not going to make any sense for me to stream one chapter tomorrow. So the next time you see me stream this will be on Thursday and we will roll for Katsukoto. So hope to see you guys there. Thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you guys next time. Stay safe, stay positive. Keep striving, thriving, climbing, and grinding. And also, fuck the haters. See you guys next time. Love you guys. Peace.